algorithm to insert a new node at the end of single linked list. For writing the algorithm, we are writing a method which is named as insert end, which takes a parameter that is a value that need to be inserted. First, we create a new node which is named as stem. Now the temp is having two part, data part and next part. The data that need to be inserted, we will assign into the data of temp. So X is our data that will get assigned to the data part of temp. Since the node is getting inserted at the end, the next value of temp should be null. So we assign null to the next part of temp. Now if the single linked list is empty, so that can be checked by using the value of begin. If begin is null, that means linked list is currently empty. So if it is empty, the new node which we have created, tem, should be assigned to begin, which is the first node after insertion. So begin should point to tem. In else part, that means the linked list is not empty. So in this case, we are having two nodes with values A and B and A is pointed by begin. So in this case also we need to first create a temporary node. First we need to create a new node temp and data should be assigned and its next should be made it as null. Now in the else part, that means the linked list is not empty. We need to perform the traversal so that a pointer should come to the current last node of linked list. For that purpose, we are creating a pointer. The pointer will start from the first node begin and as long as the pointer next is not null, that means there is some valid node ahead, we mix the pointer to move to the next node. So we write ptr equals ptr next. So that as long as the pointer next is not null in this while loop, the pointer keeps on moving ahead till it reaches to the last node. So once it reaches to the last node, we need to make the connection from there to the newly created node which is stem. So for that purpose, we assign the address of TAM to the next of PTR. So wherever the PTR is pointing, PTR is currently pointing to the last node. From the last node, we need to make a connection to TAM. So address of TAM will get stored into the next of PTR. Insert end method. In the first section, we create a node and we check whether if it's empty, we make the new node to point by begin. Otherwise, we make a while loop to iterate so that a pointer will come to the current last node. And from the last node, we make connection to the newly created node. In the main method, we can call the insert end method for inserting a node at the end of single linked list. So in this case, set of values, 10 is inserted. So execute and see whether you are able to insert a node at the end of single linked list. So to insert a node at the end of single linked list, first we need to create a free node named tem and store the elements to be inserted into the data part and null into the next part of the node. So first we create a node which is named as tem and store the data into the data part and uh, null into the next part of TMP. Then we check if single linked list is initially empty. If it's initially empty, assign the address of new node TMP to the list pointer begin because TMP will be the only node which will get added into the single linked list. So that should be pointed by the begin pointer. If single linked list is not empty, that means there are already some nodes which are present in the single linked list. So we have to come to the last node. For that purpose, we traverse, traverse entire linked list from beginning to end until we reach the last node. Once we reach to the last node, assign the address of the new node TMP to the next part of the last node so that it will the temp will get joined at the end of single linked list.